Hello everybody, this is Jacob Rakowski. Hope you're all doing extremely, extremely well. And today I want to talk to you about the actual environment of success that you put yourself in on a daily basis. And for me personally, this, this is not a direct thing that will grow your business. If you just put yourself in a good environment, it's not going to have any direct effect on your business. But if you actually work your business and actually do the things necessary, the environment that you put yourself in on a daily basis will be, uh, it will tremendously affect, what will it affect? It's hard to put into words what it does for you, but it puts you in the exact state of mind and the exact level of, hmm, the exact level of mentality, state of being that you need to be in in order to pursue the life that you're looking to create through Organo. If you live in an environment that clutters your mind, if you live in an environment that stresses you out, if you live around people that are negative, if you live around people that are pulling you down, if you live around items or things or whatever that's chaotic and it's gonna throw you off, it's gonna take extra effort in order to fight against that in order to reach your dreams and goals versus if you live in an environment that is conducive to your goals, productive to the things that you want, uh, <coughs> it's gonna be a lot easier for you to do the things that you wanna do. So for example, you know, I have things around that make me feel abundant. This, this beautiful waterfall, just the sound of it makes me feel good. These plants, which are, are kinda messed up a little bit from uh, Hurricane Harvey, but you know, lot, lots of living things, you know, some, some simple, some simple uh, wind chimes here that just, you know, sound good. Things that put me in a good mood, things that make me feel good, things that make me feel abundant, peaceful, and productive, oozes out into every area of my life. I'm not saying that if you redecorate your house, you're, you're gonna be just a diamond and massively successful and everything's just gonna work out for you just by chance but what I am saying is your your mood and your feelings and your and your thoughts and your mindset affects everything to do with what you're bringing into your reality and if you if you set yourself up in, an, in a winning environment with good positive people with uh, a place that you can go to often maybe it's in your house is very important but maybe it's I don't know maybe you like to go to do yoga or go to the gym or go to the beach or whatever whatever it is for you that puts you in a positive state is very important for you. Um, you know, there's a big old Texas flag over there. Why? Because, I don't know, just makes me feel good. One thing you guys will really like is that little sign down there. And read that. It says VIP entrance. I don't know if you can read that. I don't know if it's backwards on this camera. I can't really tell. But it says VIP entrance. Why? Because I only want VIPs and, and strong people entering into my life, into my mixers, into my presence, my reality. <clears throat> and of course, I'm not beating anybody up and saying, oh, no, if you're not, you know. But I'm, I'm setting the, 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 the energy forth that that's what I'm looking for. I'm saying that I want VIPs, very important people, coming into my business, coming into my life. And if you live that same way, and create a good environment for yourself, that's what will show up in your world and you'll be in a better state of being, a better mood in order to bring that for yourself. So, you know, this is very secondary to building your business. This is very, uh, this is very, uh, don't make an excuse for, you know, spending all this time making a good environment for yourself if you don't sample people when you're out and about or if you don't, do mixers on a weekly basis. Why would you make a nice place for yourself if you never are planning on doing a mixer anyways? You might as well just not change anything and not, not create any kind of environment for yourself because you don't plan on being successful anyways. So, uh, apples don't come from pear trees. You know, you need to put in the right work in order to create success in this business. But better soil, more sunlight, uh, a good amount of rain, not too much rain, but a good amount of rain creates more uh, harvest in your apple tree. 
So I hope this all makes sense to everybody. And it was just a thought that I had as I was walking out here. I was just like, man, this is so beautiful. Besides some of these dead plants who kind of got a little bit flooded by Harvey. But guess what? There's good soil. There's good environment. There's good vibes. And they're, they're coming back. Uh, they're coming back. And very soon they'll be completely restored. Everything that uh, has life can regenerate life. And you see some of these are coming back. And you see some of these are still working on coming back. They got some green. Some of these are in a little bit of trouble right now, but this one's coming back. And same thing with your business. You know, you might be in um, a place where you don't want to be right now. Maybe you don't have exactly what you want right now. Maybe you have goals that you're running for right now and you don't feel like you have the environment that can create that for you. And if you simply change the people you're surrounding yourself with, change the environment that you're living in on a daily basis, you have a huge effect on your results and your mood. So that's all I got today. Let's rock it. Keep it OG. God bless.